this video we will be studying about the various sources of demand and supply of foreign exchange now where does the demand for foreign exchange come from what are the sources so first we will be studying about the sources of demand right so the number one source we have is payment of international loans if you have to pay some international loans which means you need a foreign exchange so your demand becomes a foreign exchange gifts and grants to the rest of the world so this will again increase the demand for your foreign exchange if you want to invest in rest of the world this will again increase your demand of the particular foreign exchange fourth we have is direct purchases abroad if you are purchasing something in abroad so you need a foreign exchange as well as if you want to import something then also you need foreign exchange so your demand of foreign exchange increases fifth is your speculative trading in foreign exchange by our residents if the people of your country are doing the speculative trading in foreign exchange then also it will increase the demand or create the demand of foreign exchange so these are the various sources from where the demand for the foreign exchange is created now let's see the sources of supply of foreign exchange now from where the foreign exchange is supplied now number one is exports if you do export the foreign currency will come into your country so there will be a supply of foreign exchange to your country so if you do exports to the rest of the world the second you have is direct foreign investment if the companies are coming in india and then they are investing in india they are bringing the foreign exchange into india so there is the supply of foreign exchange direct purchase of goods and services by rest of the world see if your product is demanded in the foreign countries what will do there will be an export so what will happen there will be is a direct purchase of your goods and services by the rest of the world again you will get a foreign exchange so there will be a supply of foreign exchange then speculative purchases by non residents in the domestic market so if the speculative uh, purchase your currency then also there will be a supply of foreign exchange remittance by the non resident living in the foreign countries if some person living in the foreign country is sending you some money so then also there is the inflow of foreign exchange in foreign countries living in foreign so then also there is a supply of foreign exchange so these are the various sources from where you have the demand and the supply of foreign exchange i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us